Hello, grade 10 students. This is Mamabel C. Gonzalez, and I wanted to congratulate you because you were able to complete the first chapter of our research. And now, moving forward to the second chapter, which is all about the review of related literature and studies. All right, and just to give you an overview, guys, what is review of related literature and studies? Yung RRL, yung chapter 2 natin, yun po ay including lahat ng data gathered to back up your research. Nandyan lahat ng mga data na nahanap ninyo, na research ninyo to support your study. And of course, yung data na hahanapin nyo, they are supporting evidences that strengthens to make it reliable. Kailangan mas maging reliable lang research nyo. Paano magiging reliable? By adding more information, adding data, like research conducted by previous researchers or experts, and it will serve as one of the major foundations of your research paper. Okay, so let us define first what is a related literature and study. So a literature review is a summary of studies related to a particular area of research. It identifies and summarizes all the relevant research conducted on a particular topic. So, yun daw ay kabuuan na ng mga studies na related. So, it means na pag nag-search kayo, ay yung pinakang main ideas lang yung i-include nyo. Hindi nyo siyang ikakopy lahat. Kaya, ang technique dito guys, sa paggawa ng chapter 2 ay you have to read and comprehend what you are reading. You have to analyze it first bago idikit ng idikit, kopyahin. And... Guys, kailangan talaga dito ng critical analysis. So, ya-analyze nyo mabuti yung mga nahahanap nyong data. Unang-una yan ba ay related sa inyong study? Hindi po, kaya yan ay about sa technology ay yun na yun. Kailangan ay nakasentralize yan sa inyong research. Okay, so relevant research. The key word here is relevant. And then the next slide is, it's important that your literature review is focused. Therefore, you should choose a limited number of studies that are central to your topic rather than trying to collect a wide range of studies that might not be closely connected. Okay, so sa paghahanap guys, dapat nakafocus kayo, nakasentralize lang. Let's say ang topic ninyo is all about technology. Pero you are pertaining to mobile phones and technology, pero nag-add kayo doon ng... Study conducted about the effects of television. So, television is a form of technology. However, it is not going to be closely related to your topic, which is uh, centralized on mobile phones. All right, and literature reviews help you accomplish the following. So, you can evaluate past research. By going through the related literature and studies, I, you will be able to collect relevant resources, and that will help you see what research has already been done. This will, will also avoid help, or this will also help avoid duplication. So once again, to avoid duplication, hindi lang basta copy-paste ng copy-paste, kukopyahin nyo kung ano yung nakikita nyo agad na lumabas sa search results. So kailangan talaga ay puspusang pagbabasa dito. Kailangan ay related talaga siya doon sa inyong study. And you will be able to see na habang kayo ay, as you go over the document, as you go over the research study, makikita nyo ano bang klase ng research yung ginawa nila. And that will give you some ideas, that will give you some tips kung paano nyo rin gagawin yung sa inyo. But at the same time, you have to maintain that sense of originality when it comes to your work. That's why hindi nyo ako pwedeng lokohen pagdating sa pagkopya-kopya lang ng research ninyo doon sa mga past studies na, yung mga nagawa ng research before, no, alam ko po yan kung yan ay kinokopya nyo lang or hindi. And by the way, sa defense naman, magkakaalaman din kung talagang kayo ang gumawa ng inyong research or hindi. Next one, identify experts. It is very important to identify credible researchers who have knowledge in a given field. In order to seek their help, if you get stuck with certain aspects of your research. Ayan guys, unang-una ko naman laging sinasabi sa inyo, pag kayo ay nako-confuse, pag hindi alam ang gagawin, nalilito, 
or what, you just have to ask me. I-mention ako sa ating GC kasi minsan ay pag hindi ko kayo friend, hindi ko agad nakikita yung message requests nyo. So, yung the best thing to do is mention me sa GC and then magtanong kayo kung kayo ay nahihirapan. Huwag kayong magpa-proceed ng hindi alam ang gagawin kasi sayang na ang effort. So, I highly advise na basahin ang module, panoorin ang mga videos, and if you are still confused on what to do, you just ask me right away. Aside from that, kung sino yung may mga experience na sa paggawa ng research na family members, friends, relatives, ay pwede nyo naman silang tanungin kung ano yung ginawa nila, if ever. But I do not advise that you are going to just ask a copy from them of that research and then yun ang ipapasa ninyo. No, it's not like that. Hindi kayo matututo kapag gagano na spoon feeding na lang lahat na ayan na yung research, tapos na ipapasa nyo na lang ng utay-utay. Hindi po ganun. Alright, so proceed tayo sa next slide. Identify key questions. Your ultimate aim is to bring something new to the conversation. Collecting resources will help you determine the important questions that need to be addressed. Ayan, so kailangan there is something new na naidadagdag doon sa inyong research. Yung parang magiging wow factor din siya sa mga panelists in the future. Yung, ay, hindi namin yan alam ah. That's something new. Something entirely new. That's why, pag gagawa po kayo ng related literature and study, I highly advise na 2000, at least 2005 to the current year or hanggang last year, 2020, ang mga basis ng inyong research. Wala namang masama sa paglalagay ng mga research like way back 1994, 2002, 1997. However, sa panahon natin ngayon where change is constant, it is very important you were able to keep up with the changes. And yung mga research kasi conducted before, there are some things na nagbago na or it is kind of phase out na. So I highly advise yung mga new ones po ang ating gagawing basis ng research. Next one, we also have determined methodologies used in the past. Studies. Knowing how others have approached a particular topic will give you the opportunity to identify problems and find new ways to research and study a topic. If the reported methodology was successful, you can use it and save time that you would otherwise be spending on optimization. Okay, guys. So, ito, ano yung mga methods na ginamit doon sa research na yan? But... Mainly on this one, yung mga literature and studies, yung mga ideas don. how did the researcher perceive that? It's like you're going to look at it in a different light para maiba naman. So, iba-iba tayo ng perspective, meaning to say, yung nag-conduct ng past research na yon na i-include ninyo sa inyong research paper, ay hindi kayo pareho ng perspective. So, try looking at it in a different light para mas maging unique ang inyong research. Okay, so yun lang po, and honestly guys, I think this is one of the easiest part sa research paper. All you have to do is use the related literatures and study, related literature and study as a guide, as a basic or one of the major foundations of your research. And then, ang paghahanap po niyan, magbibigay ako ng example. So, the same research na ginagamit kong example sa inyo before, ito yung kina Princess Madrona last year, yung sa Einstein, kina Jude, and Danica Forio. So, ito sa chapter 2, nakikita nyo naman yung example. So, sa related literature lang yun, wala po yung S. Related literature, ayan, nakalagay. Ganyan po ang format ng paggawa. Lil John and Foss, ayan, 2005. Okay, so ito muna pala sa unahan, yung this chapter presents the literature and studies that are related to the given proposed study. Yan ay matik yan ha, as is. Ikakopy nyo lang po, or if you have another, a much better opening statement, then you adapt that one. Okay, sa so related literature, ganyan po. Mauuna yung pangalan, and then yung date kung kailan ginawa yung kanilang research. And then, ayan, nakalagay naman po dyan, no? Define mass communication as the process whereby media organizations produce and transmit messages 
Okay, so ayan yung mga information included doon sa research nila na sa palagay nyo ay central, magiging central idea ng inyong research. Alright? Okay, so focus muna tayo sa related literature. Makikita nyo naman dyan, paano po ma-identify ang literature sa study? Makikita nyo naman dyan, oh. Define, states, according, according to, ayan, according to, ayan, he stated that, yun pong mga ganong keyword ay nag, uh, nag-i-indicate na siya ay related literature. You just have to follow the format, ha? Do not forget name and then the date kung kailan kinandak yung research nila and then the idea that is related to your research topic. And then, sa paggawa po ng ating related literature, tingnan ninyo ang format. So, ang gagawin natin, tigdalawa lang na local and foreign. Paano po yon? Okay, so related literature, guys, ang i-require ko lang po ay tigdalawang paragraphs. So, dalawang par- bali apat, dalawang paragraphs for foreign ideas and dalawang paragraphs for local ideas. Ano yung foreign? Yun yung mga universal ideas. Yun yung mga studies conducted in other countries, yung outside of the Philippines. So, parang kagaya sa introduction nyo, mayroong mga universal ideas. And then, dalawang paragraphs din na local. Meaning to say, yung dalawang paragraph na yon ay dalawang related literature coming from a foreign study and then dalawang paragraphs coming from a local study. So, pag sinabi nating local study, that could either be national or local. So, national is study conducted, conducted here in the Philippines. And then, yung local naman, pwede nyong gamitin yung mga uh, pwede kayong pumunta sa library and then look for researches na related sa inyong topic. And then, yun ang pwede nyo gawing local na literature review. Maghanap kayo doon sa kanilang research ng mga ideas that are relevant to yours. So, same thing lang din po sa related studies. Two paragraphs na foreign and two paragraphs na local. And then, ito po yung example ng related studies. Ayan. Kung mapapansin ninyo, ito yung mga studies conducted before. Okay, check this one out. Like yung Ford, 1993, made a study. Ayan yung keyword na related study siya. Okay, so Far West Laboratory, 1995, made a major study on the teacher application of blah, blah, blah. Ayan, nakalagay na po dyan, made a major study. Okay, so yun yung mga keyword. Keyword lang po sa related studies ang study mismo doon sa paragraph. Okay, according to the study conducted by the social scientists, yun, nando na po sa uh, phrase or sa paragraph mismo ang keyword. And another thing, paano po madidistinguish kung yun ay foreign or local? Halatang halata naman sa apelido pa lang kasi most of the time ay last name ang ginagamit sa pag lalagay ng expert or the researcher who conducted that study ay last name ang nilalagay. So, obvious na obvious naman dyan ang mga names ay ito, kagaya nito, yung kay O. Sullivan ay halatang halata naman na foreign. And then I think you're already familiar with uh, local surnames naman. It it's going to be easy for you guys to distinguish that. And sa pagbabasa pa lang, makikita nyo na kung saan kinandak yung study ay malalaman nyo na kung yun ay foreign or local. So, ganun lang guys. At ang pinakamadaling technique ng paghahanap ng inyong related, literatures and, uh, li- related literature and study ay itatype nyo po sa search engine sa Google ay related literature about and then insert your title not the full title but the indiv- uh, in- independent variable or the dependent variable at yun lalabas yung mga search results example po ay uh, related literature about mass media and technology okay so yun guys maraming maraming search results ang lalabas so it's just a matter of reading analyzing and synthesizing those ideas to 
come up with your own chapter 2. Alright, so thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful day.